headed there tomorrow. Now, we do hold on to some of these shower chances, but it's not a washout. They're quick hitting. Not the worst week. We do very well temperature wise. Look at this shot right now. Pikes Peak up. Oh, there we go. Just lagged right on us. But it was a beautiful, beautiful day right now. Really hard to complain. Comfortable conditions across the region. Now our clicker doesn't want to work. There we go. No real surprises overnight tonight. Temperatures, they will steadily decrease our overnight low. We get down towards about 39 here in the springs. Partly cloudy. So we stay a few degrees above average. Makes way for a very nice start to the day tomorrow. Here's our overall setup. We're stuck between two low pressure systems. That gives us a southwesterly flow so the winds will shift directions for this week ahead warm weather but we will hold on to daily rain and thunderstorm chances by the evening hours more so what we get in that summer when we're in that monsoon season just a few of those isolated showers won't be able to be ruled out so for tomorrow 48 degrees out your door for first bell dry conditions sunshine out in full force Hector school it's a mild 70 so region wide we're still five to 10 degrees above average. That puts us right at 73 tomorrow in the springs. It's even warmer over in Pueblo, 77 degrees, 75 Canyon City. Few clouds will build towards the evening in association with these showers, but a majority of the day we hold on to pretty clear skies, mid to upper 70s out towards the plains as well. Any outdoor plans, keep them on. Don't cancel, but you will want to remain weather aware. What we're going to track a few isolated thunderstorms can't be ruled out for tonight. A very isolated sprinkle is possible up north of the Pikes Peak region mainly, but we have dry air, a layer at the surface, which should inhibit a lot of this from reaching the surface. Any activity will quickly move out tonight. A nice start tomorrow. We're dry winds cooperate, but then what we do watch after a few hours of sunshine, a little bit of instability at the surface, we can overcome that dry air and see a quick thunderstorm or even rain shower if we don't have enough instability. So by 12 to 2, we'll see some afternoon boomers look to develop and then they quickly do move out of the region by seven o'clock. Our next band looks to impact the Pikes Peak region as well as the southeastern mountains. Those are the two areas we'll keep a close eye on for the greatest chance of a shower to develop, but it's all quick moving all wraps up as we do head overnight and really what you see is what you'll get for this week ahead. This is that pattern we will be stuck in all thanks to that southwesterly flow in the larger scheme of things. As far as any rain chances, this near equal chances, give or take 10, 20 percent this week. Tuesday and Thursday will be the greatest in coverage, but it's very similar as I keep mentioning to this monsoonal setup. Now, a lot of us, this isn't too much to complain about. We need some moisture and temperature wise. We do very well. We're talking 5, 10 degrees in general above average across the region. Wednesday across the board will be the warmest day here in the springs. We'll reach 76 degrees at 65 is the average mark we get to for this time of the year. So again, hard to complain, but you will need to stay weather aware. Stay a savvy. Get that KRDO weather app if you are making any evening plans. Get access to that radar because there's no need to cancel plans, but it could be a quick 15 to 30 minute burst of rain, which can damper some outdoor plans. Wednesday, warmest day, Woodland Park, 65 degrees. Cinco de Mayo Friday, we still hold on to rain chances, very isolated in nature. And then by next weekend, we're still stuck in this pattern, still dealing with the southwesterly flow. So temperature wise, we do very well. It's a really nice week. We break that 80 degree mark Wednesday in Pueblo. Head over to Canyon City as well. Very comfortable conditions temperature wise for the week. They will be included in the rain chances. Danny? Well, you know, I just downloaded that KRDO weather app and the forecast calls for sports. Next.